We are glad to welcome you to our channel. Kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and relations. And click on the bell icon for instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded on this channel. Rest assured that we are going to have a very exciting and inspiring discussion. Let's dive into the lesson right away. Hello everyone and welcome to our video on the simplest way to solve West African Senior School Certificate Examination questions. Whether you are preparing for the upcoming WASI English exam or you are just looking to improve your test taking skills, you are in the right place. Today, I am going to share practical steps and top tips that will enable you to tackle those WASI English questions with confidence. This is English Classes Online, and as usual, I am your host, Benjamin. Let's dive in right away. I want us to begin with the questions, the WASI questions. Of course, this is WASI June 2023 English language objective test questions. And our focus will be on section two. Okay. Now, the instruction for section two is as follows. From the words lettered A to D, choose the word that best completes each of the following sentences. And we have questions 11 to 20. I am going to explain how to arrive at the, at the correct answer to each question. I will be explaining the grammatical principles that will enable you to do this. I will show you the simple steps to take and the best way to answer these questions correctly. Now let's begin with question number 11. Question number 11. The aggrieved customers staged a fierce dash on the street. And when I say dash, I am referring to the blank space and you are required to pick one of the options a to d to fill in this blank space option a fight b protest c argument and d contest okay The correct option is B, protest. Now, the reason is as follows. I mean, the grammatical explanation. Here, you need to understand that we are dealing with register. Register is the use of language for a particular purpose or in a particular social situation. And so, when aggrieved customers want to express their disapproval what do they do they protest so that is why b is the correct option and then we look at the fact that you know like jonathan swift a notable english scholar said putting proper words in proper places is the way to convey your intended meaning in any field of life, okay? And so, let's look at the semantics aspect. The study of meaning, that is what semantics is about, and you ought to know the meaning of each of these words to be able to find out the one that conveys the right meaning in this context. Now, we have chosen option B, but what exactly does protest mean a protest is an action expressing disapproval 
or an objection to something. All right? That is what a protest is all about. Question number 12. The accused was brought before the jury for a court dash. A. Sitting. B. Hearing. C. Judging. And D. Proceeding. The correct option is D. Proceeding. And the grammatical explanation is similar to what we saw earlier. We are dealing with the register of law or judiciary. Okay, the language used in discussing law or judiciary. And so, what exactly is the meaning of proceeding? A court proceeding is an action, hearing, trial, or an application before the court. So, in other words, the accused was brought before the jury for a court proceeding or a court uh, trial, if you like. Okay? Because when an accused person is taken to court, he's going to stand trial. And the activities, uh, you know, going on within that uh, period in the court is known as proceeding. Question number 13. From his dash, one can tell that he is an athlete. A. Physique. B. Stature, C, gait, and D, anatomy. The correct option is A, physique. Because here you are dealing with the register of sports or physical education. And then what does physique mean in the register or language of sports or physical education? Physique refers to the form or shape of the human body. Now, when you the, when you talk about anatomy, for instance, this is usually used in the, within the field of medicine or health. All right, or when you are discussing biology or things like that. So, register deals with the language used in a particular field of life. Question number 14. The death of that journalist is still dash in mystery. Okay. A. Conveyed. B. Shadowed. C. Shrouded. And D. Confined. The correct option is C. Shrouded. And so we are dealing with collocation here. Collocation refers to a group of words that usually go together. You know, whenever I want to explain collocation, I pick two simple words. The word eat is usually used together with food in English sentences. For example, I eat food. But the word drink is used together with water. For example, I drink water. So it is improper to say, I eat water or I drink food, all right? So collocation refers to this grammatical concept, which has to do with the, the tendency of English words to, you know, uh, keep company with other English words. So when we are talking about mystery, the word shrouded is always a collocate you often hear people talk about something shrouded in mystery okay now let's look at the semantics aspect if something is shrouded in mystery it means that very little is known about it so when we say that the death of that journalist is still shrouded in mystery we are saying that very little is known about the death of that journalist okay question number 15 the defendant was charged with dash because he caused his neighbor's death a fratricide 
B, patricide, C, genocide, and D, homicide. The correct option is D, homicide. Now, here, again, we are dealing with register. In this case, the language of law or criminology, if you like or criminal justice, if you like, okay? Now, what does it mean when you are, what does homicide mean, okay? All these, uh, you know, words associated with criminal justice. Fratricide refers to the killing of one's brother or sister. Patricide to the killing of one's father. Genocide, killing of a large group of people. Uh, but homicide refers to the killing of someone, okay, probably your neighbor. So that's exactly what it means. So in the language or register of law, homicide is the killing of one human being by another. So when we say the defendant was charged with homicide because he caused his neighbor's death, homicide is the appropriate word here for somebody who has killed his neighbor. Question number 16. Seeing a young crop dash from the soil is a rare experience. A, trail, B, sprout, C, project, and D, creep. The correct option is B, sprout. Now here we are dealing with the register of agriculture, okay? And so the meaning of sprout, what does it really mean for a young crop to sprout from the soil? Okay, so here in the language or register of agriculture, to sprout from the soil is to grow or spring up from the soil. And you can see the image here of a tender seedling, you know, that has sprouted out from the soil, okay? That's just what we are talking about. Question number 17. Lawyers are still making efforts to interpret the new dash. A, language, B, technique, C, system, and D, statute. Now, the right option is D, statute, because in the language of law, or judiciary, of course, a statute is a written law passed by a legislative body. So if the National Assembly of a country passes a new law, the lawyers will be the one to interpret the new law in various courts of law. That's really what it means, okay? Question number 18. The cargo was intercepted on sea by dash. A, pirates, B, thieves, C, terrorists, and D, robbers. The correct option is A, pirates. Here we are dealing with the language or register of maritime transport. And in the language or register of maritime transport, pirates are persons who attack and rob ships at sea. So if you are traveling uh, by road, of course, you'll be talking about robbers intercepting your vehicle. But on the sea, it is uh, pirates intercepting the cargo, okay? Question number 19, the doctors dash Bola's grandmother after the heart attack, eh? regenerated, B, resuscitated, C, resurrected, and D, revived. The correct option is B, resuscitated. Because in the language of uh, medicine or health, when you resuscitate someone, uh, then of course to resuscitate is to revive someone from unconsciousness or apparent death. Okay, when someone has a heart attack, and passes away or is unconscious, the doctors, you know, try to resuscitate. That is to revive uh, the person from unconsciousness or apparent death. 
Now, the last but not the least, question number 20. Because the couple cannot agree on many things, their relationship is now dashed. A. Stressed. B. Uneasy. C. Strained. And D. Tensed. The correct option is C. Strained. And here we are dealing with collocation. There are words that tend to go together in sentences. So, words such as relationship and strain go together. That's why you hear people talk about strained relationship. So, in, semant in the semantic aspect, if the relationship between people is strained, it means that they do not like or trust each other any longer. So, because the couple cannot agree on many things, their relationship is now strained. So, that's exactly the way it is done. And there you have it, the simplest way to solve WASI questions. By following these practical steps and top tips that I have discussed with you, you will be well equipped to tackle your WASI or any other English exam questions with confidence thank you for watching today's episode see you in the next class and remain blessed many thanks for watching today's video a big thank you to all of you out there for being part of today's episode i hope you enjoyed the video if you did kindly subscribe to this channel Right now as a way of giving us support for notification about new videos click on the bell icon you will find the bell icon click on it so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be instantly notified if you have actually enjoyed the video like and share the video with your friends and relatives if you have any comments leave your comments below any questions any suggestions we would gladly receive them and respond promptly and positively to them see you in the next video i look forward to always seeing you in the new video